there's not a whole lot you can get, but I can't really spoil the story of this game too much. <laughs> All right, there's only one room we haven't been in. This is 101. This is 102. This must oh, be it's 103. Dead, dead in the brain. You have an intro. How can anyone know oh, what's going on? Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh my god, people. Sorry. Oh, this is dead of the brain. I'm right. a little dead of the brain tonight, apparently. Um, it's also known as I'm Day Zerfall. of the Living Dead. I'm Zerfall. I thought you were dead of the brain. We got Last go time room and we killed me. Doc. Yeah. Well. And now we got to get revenge. In all fairness, in a roundabout way, he killed himself by inventing a zombie virus that caused. I want to say we got to go get revenge on the guy that Doc turned into a zombie and then killed him. <laughs> yeah. That voice didn't come from here. It certainly came from room 103. Apparently 103 is this one right here that I thought was a two. Okay. He's saying a slightly that different first, That voice certainly came from over here. I have... Dot, dot, dot. Enough bullets. Let's go. Like they're pretending it's an inventory system. <laughs> Gah! What? Was it waiting for me to come in? Shit! How did I drop my gun now of all times? Wow, what are you, Percy? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I mean me! I dropped the gun! This zombie is so much more powerful than the others. Was this how Doc was overpowered? We gotta go for the eyes. No dice. It's not letting go like the one in the station. I lose my grip, and he'll eat me for sure. It's almost like I fell into a sick trap. If he gets any closer, oh, I'm done for. He's taking the time to consider. Well, I guess, I guess yeah, you got to talk to him, yeah. It's got me by the throat. I can't talk. Even if I could, it's impossible to reason with. Wait, so he's not saying this out loud? One's a lot more powerful than the others. I can't possibly kill it. And we better run away. No, use your psycho gun. He must have run away when he saw I had a gun, then waited for me to drop it, knowing that I'm an idiot. Come to think of it, I did hear one of them talk on the radio back at the station. But how does a zombie talk? <laughs> it just puts its lips together and blows. Yeah. I thought they ate brains only, but it seems the ones in room 102 ate the whole body. They might have been cannibals before they were made undead. Maybe they have some kind of sentient thought. Maybe they're smarter than Doc and I thought. Because they're eating bodies, you think they're smarter? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> maybe, maybe Doc's dead now, now who's smart? Damn, it's getting dark. Is this it for me? I should have done more for Sheila. My vision's getting blurry. Why? I mean, hmm? Someone came into this room, and the zombies hid there and waited for me. Schnick. Hmm? What happened? Who saved me? That was too close. You would have been done for if I hadn't, if I'd been a moment late. Thanks a million. I'm Cole. Nice to meet you. Are you also part of Chief Cool Survivors? You're not Terry. No, I'm on my own. We're all survivors, the way things are going. Ha! What a joke. I'm Kane. Nice to meet you. Oh, there's no way Kane will turn out to be some kind of traitor. <laughs> yep. Oh, I can save the game now. Oh, good. Oh, so, so do we want to keep going for now, or do we want to do a warp back? I, we could do a warp back. I mean, we attempted to make every possible wrong decision there. I'm yeah. thinking it doesn't matter what we did. <laughs> I don't think in this one it matters. But uh, yeah. I do I do want to try a couple yeah, things. Yeah, you got, we got to try to save Doc. Yep. All right. I mean, uh, he's folks, such a back, wonderful man. Right he's outside. clearly going to heaven. Yeah. When we get back, folks, we'll be right outside the dock room. Okay, folks, we're back. We uh, we didn't do quite as thorough looking around this time, but uh, we're ready. Hopefully, for... we did enough to. Well, we'll find out in a second. Did we do enough to trigger? Yeah. Nails upon nails. Okay, so you can't just shoot dog in the head. Yeah. 
I'm not sitting through all this to, uh... I, I, uh... I mean, unless you want to try to get off a perfect immediate shot... Well, I shot but Doc I'm... in the head that time on purpose. Uh, this time yeah, I'm going to try happened. to shoot the zombie. If it just says he got away, then we'll, I just think lo that's... we'll load the other game I... then. Yeah, I think that's all it's going to say. But no, you don't want to go through and see what happens if instead of trying to reason with the zombie, we try to do something oh, that's vaguely. A, that's a good point, too. I don't think it'll make a difference, but Lethal will be upset if we don't explore every possibility. There, do you know, there's one more thing I want to do. Okay. We didn't check this one room at all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, the, it, the pendant! Oh, oh, see, it's important pendant. that we came here first. It must be Ray's girl. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, I feel so bad for Ray right now. Not, not this guy here. Yeah. Can you can imagine, like, how sad he'll be if he doesn't get to, like, spend the rest of his life with this girl? Yeah. Don't worry about that, Cole. It spotted us. <laughs> it's just staring right into our souls while it chews on brain. Uh -huh. He's like, hey, you want some of this? I feel like I did Ray wrong by pulling the trigger. Now I know how nose felt. It can't be helped. When you turn, it's best to die before anyone you can hurt anyone else. Hint, hint. Foreshadowing. The back of her head blew off because the bullet hit her dead square of the head. Well, She's good. dead square of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie's head is destroyed in this state it'll never get up again Ray's girlfriend was eating a corpse although the corpse appeared to be alive at the time they all become so brutal when they became zombies no matter who they are <laughs> they just become so you brutal you don't know she might have been really brutal before yeah she must have been drawn to this guy's brains. If this body wasn't here, she might have attacked us instead. The brains she was eating are leaking from his head. I've seen so many since the police station, but I'll never get used to this. This man must have had a family of some kind. I'm sorry. And he's like, oh no, I was alone. <laughs> This must be the pendant Ray gave her. Even as a zombie, she wore it. <laughs> I, I like how we're slowly thinking that zombies are more intelligent, but we're not thinking that it would be possible for a zombie just to not notice it's wearing a pendant. <laughs> right. Should we give this back to Ray? No, let's not. He doesn't need to know about this at all. Even though we specifically came here to kill his girlfriend. Right. I don't think uh, I don't think he'd want to get it back now with all this brain on it. Huh? Oh, wait. Huh? Cole, look at the locket. There's a picture. If I had been dead before you came to this room, you'd never have found it. It's a picture. Ray. Wow, he looks like kind of a dick. Oh, if I never made this reanimation drug, an innocent lady like this wouldn't have had to had her life cut short. Doc, what you don't know is that the zombie apocalypse actually extended her life by about 30 minutes. She would have died in a car accident that was prevented by zombies. <laughs> Let's leave the locket. She deserves to keep it even in death. She earned that right by eating this guy's brains. Nothing, nothing in these that... boxes. I can't believe this is happening to Ray's girlfriend, whom I know so much about. Even after you turn, your body keeps rotting. Girlfriend had that pendant around her neck. I'm surprised she kept it on, even after her turning. She seems to have been young, maybe in her early 20s. We told I that by the we... <laughs> Hold on. Let me, turn, let me go first, then you go. We cut her in half and counted the rings. Uh, I was gonna say, apparently, we've been able to tell by looking at her ankle. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, I got a thing for feet, and her zombie feet are shaped perfectly. I didn't let go of his luck in the end, and then something else. <laughs> da, da, da. Doc seems so depressed. Maybe he'll be cheered up when he dies soon. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get suicide by zombie. He's like, oh man, the three down. There's only one left here to try to kill me. 
I wonder what I would have had. Now we got to play the game through twice, once with and once without the pendant. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you. I'm gonna. I'm now. I'm curious about this here. Let's see. Choose no. Okay, might be fine. Name of the forehead. You're telling everybody at home what's going on. Zombie, the blood in the dress. <gasps> maybe we needed to. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe we can save him now. <laughs> damn, it got away. Man, even this, if you hit it with a timer, sir, it just says damn, it got away. Yeah. Want to go through this again? I mean, I, I don't know that we can recreate. Oh no! This this the, is the initial shot. Yada, yada, of, yada. It is know. what happens. We tried to shoot the zombie. Yada yada yada. Doc's not here no more. That's all Sheila needs to know. And the folks at home, if you don't know what's going on right now, you should watch the last episode. <laughs> go back and watch it now, and then come back and watch us. I am glad that the the game didn't have like here's a sixty second timer before Doc turns into a zombie. You have to do the killing yourself. I think because that would have been would've much have more dramatic. Wait. That would have been more dramatic. He wasn't just He's another scientist. Just another scientist. <laughs> let me save. It. Okay. Just let me save. But all right. So this time, I guess we're gonna try a gun. And, and gun not and thinking then... about it. Yeah. That was the best part. Is he starts thinking about it. You start thinking about it, and then Cole just won't stop thinking into something. <laughs> <laughs> he talked for like Look all this navel gazing Cole it's gonna but, get you killed <laughs> but it gave us so much insight into what was going on in this world that boy certainly came from over there I have enough bullets let's go what what's waiting for me to come in shit how did I drop my gun now of all times this zombie is so much more powerful than the others but this how Doc was overpowered also, how do we know how much how powerful the other zombies were? We just shot them in the head from a distance. Right. No! This zombie is gonna kill me! I can't have Wait. I can't have at move, all. Move. I can't move at all. No, move. Move at all. Not even my gun. My gun is immobile. It is a part of my body, but it is not currently moving. It can't fight me because we're at arm's length. But wait, but it's at arm's length. It's whatever. But if I have anything, move anything, I'm screwed. Kick. It doesn't even respond to my kicks. I don't think I can even kill this one. This one's a lot more powerful than the others. I can't possibly kill it. It would be better to run away. Damn, I can't die here. Who will look after Sheila in my place? Who will look at her breasts if I'm not here? Probably right. Probably. All right, kill me. Let go. Haven't you had your daily human intake already? <laughs> You're greedy. <laughs> Sorry, but one brain is just 50% of my daily recommended. All right. Go. Ah. Ah. Oh, wait, you said go. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. He really scratched up my neck. Oh, maybe we are a zombie this time. Oh, I feel weak. What? Whoa! <laughs> you have to run away. He scratches your neck, which I guess you're struggling. But if you're you think about to things think. for too long, <laughs> Deus Ex Machina saves you. Uh, yeah, no, running away exposes your neck to scratching in a way that thinking just doesn't. I do like that we have a little recap. This is like our uh, our uh, Oregon Trail gravestone. Cool, age 24, died at Central Hotel. His game was over. Pepperoni and cheese. He got a. He did not get a fresh injection of dead to the brain. Or he died, died of dysentery. It's like that zombie put a sword in your brain too. <laughs> oh man! Can we go back Doc. and take Doc's sword. Then come back here. <clears throat> that room clearly says 102 on it. By the way, that pixel art. Or a bad translation. So apparently we did it the right way, I guess, last time. We'll try going for the I eyes. think we did. Well, 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 we should have gone for gun and well, then... I'm going to change this one up. Change, yeah. I don't think these do anything, but... So I guess that's why there's so much exposition here, because you have to... You have to let the zombie uh, choke you as you think about it, or else mm -hmm. he chokes you too hard. 
and you get a scratch. Schnicked. Huh? What happened? Who saved me? That was yeah. close. You would have been done for if I had been a moment late. Looks like Clancy of Ninja Gaiden fame. Thanks a million. I'm Cole. Nice to meet you. Are you also part of Chief Ghoul's army? No, I'm on my own. We're all survivors, the way things are going. I've been surviving all of my life. Woo! Ha, what a joke. Hi. I'm Kane. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm He's the leader of the vampires. <laughs> He's apparently not a zombie. Hey, help me! Kane isn't part of Ghoul's group. How did he get in here then? Maybe he just happened to pass by, or he knew I was here. I'm telling you, he's a vampire. He flew in the window. Kane isn't part of Ghoul's group. Maybe he just happened to pass by. Okay. Looking Kane at his isn't breasts, part of group. <laughs> Can we just leave? Like, okay, well, if you're not part of the group, we're leaving. Say, hey, cool. You think those boxes might be full of trash? What do you think, eh? <laughs> How did you get in? There's a passcode on the front door. Oh, I just kept putting in 6969. Well, I'm a journalist, <laughs> and I decided to let myself in. You never know if you can get an amazing scoop. There's zombies everywhere, but clearly this hotel's gonna have a scoop. And all about these uh, various robots. You're a journalist? Are you doing a story on this? No, I only do human research. <laughs> I mean, uh, ah, interest. I was gonna, but the number of zombies kept multiplying. Not just in my own city, but in my own family as well. <laughs> yeah, my brother the auditor turned into a zombie and, uh, I decided to get out of journalism. Huh? Have they already spread that far? Even to your family? The family of you, Cain, the guy Wait. I just met? There is a bombshell being dropped here. Mm. Did you hear about it on the news? It wiped out my whole city last month. Wait a second. <laughs> Were we out of commission for a while? That's insane. I watch TV almost every hour of the day, especially while drinking in the shower, and I never heard anything like that. Huh? It was all over the papers and the magazines. I was sure this city was evacuated. So, are we saying that we lost a chunk of time, or that Doc didn't act? Doc coincidentally invented a different zombie serum. <laughs> that seems to be what's going on. But Doc just used the drug on humans tonight. There's no way the zombies have been around before that! Where did you first see a zombie, Kane? At home. It was my sister's birthday party. It was fun, and that family happiness became a sea of red blood. <laughs> blood. Ocean. Now who you? I escaped! But the rest of my family was killed by them. I was or by them. <laughs> I was unable to help them, so I made an oath. I was unable to help then. <laughs> to kill whoever is responsible for creating such rejects of God's glory. Oh no, he's some. He's like a reporter for the 700 Club. <laughs> no. You know what, sir? This game about zombies is getting weird. <laughs> Okay, let's talk for a moment. Did I mention thank you for saving my life? I don't think I did. Also, we haven't been talking this whole time. Right. Huh? What's up? That body in room 105 was my friend, Dr. Cougar. He invented a prototype, Reincarnation Serum. What? Room 105? The one that says room 103 on the door? <laughs> Reanimation serum. So this Dr. Cougar was one the one who caused my family to die. Oh, listen. The drug was accidentally used on a cop. The cop got zombified and we ran away. So I guess the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> he, he should have led with, 
This was yesterday. Yeah, that would have been important. Because he's about to get real mad about it. Uh-huh. And then he might start choking us, and we'll have to think about it. He only tested on small animals before we knew it worked on humans. So, the cop zombie must have been the start. The dead aren't dying. They only multiply, you know? We were shocked to see that. We figured it spread like a virus. And the cop was patient zero. But, Doc was the first person to make a resurrection drug. He was going to announce it to a conference. If it proved successful. Could this Dr. Cougar have lied about only experimenting on animals? Maybe he already experimented on people in the city. Ah. <laughs> Doc is many things, including an, a war criminal who created evil drugs to turn everyone to zombies. But he is no liar. He's not just another scientist who was mean to me. He's a scientist who was nice to me. And when the officer came back to life, he felt awful about it. Doc, not the uh, officer. If Doc was experimenting on humans, he would have known their weakness, but he didn't. I figured it out before he did. Their weakness was being shot in the head. <laughs> he got stuck in a... Wait, so is this really going towards Doc coincidentally created a zombie here? I'm pretty sphere? sure it is. <laughs> well, I guess if he was the cause, dying here would wouldn't be part of his own plan. It wasn't part of God's glory plan either. I can't say any more without more investigation. Was this cougar acting weird? Was he talking to someone else about the drug? He was for a mad scientist who likes to give drinks with a group. Well, yeah. He likes to hang out with a guy who's a janitor who gets drunk in the shower or whatever my backstory was. It was really one of his closest friends. Is that so? Why are you trying to talk like Ellen Rickman? How many people know about <laughs> Cougar and his serum? Oh, this, I, I, I shouldn't have said you sounded like Ellen Rickman. That that voice that you just did didn't sound anything like Alan Rick when I apologized. <laughs> Only my girlfriend Sheila and I. She was chased by zombies and came to my apartment. It's the first time she's ever come in my apartment. Just us three. Did you tell that squad of survivors? No, not yet. There's one guy upstairs depressed about his girlfriend's death. I don't want Doc to be known as the cause of this. Well, I won't tell anyone about the drug, not until I have more info. It's very important that Doc, who's already dead, not be the object of anger from somebody whose girlfriend is dead. <laughs> Thanks for the info, Cole. This was really helpful. When I learn more, I'll let you know. And he throws down a smoke bomb. Anyway, I'm not going to come back and meet anyone else for some reason. That was Kane. He reminds me of myself a bit. C Cole, in that he I, I, I'm still here, Cole. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was his line, but I... He reminds me of myself in the sense that he has successfully killed zombies like no one else. Well, Sheila's waiting for me. What should I tell her about Doc? What do you think, Kane, who's still here? Oh, never mind. Don't answer me. <laughs> Thank goodness you were gone so long. I was worried. Now I'm wondering what happens if you... Uh, and I don't think it's worth replaying. Even I don't. What happens if you don't get dependent and deal with that fourth zombie? Do you, does she just not get dealt with if you run into Kane first? It could be. But it's not worth checking out. Don't tell yeah, me. Yeah. A lot happened. And, and we'll let Cole tell her all about what happened next time. Yes, he has to explain to Sheila that Doc is running around at a uh, nice farm upstate. <laughs> He's with the rabbits now. <laughs> <The> rab <laughs> Bye, folks.